Welcome back to my workbench. In this segment, we're going to be removing the mechanism from the back of the whistler so that we may further disassemble it to get to our goal of restoring the slide whistle bellows assembly. Whistlers were made over the course of quite a few years, and there are slight variations as to how these mechanisms are held into the body. These two whistlers have the mechanisms being held onto metal plates that have some rivets, and the clockwork mechanism slides onto this metal plate, and it's simply a matter of lifting the mechanism up and then popping it out. So those metal plates, I just pointed those out, and the one on the right here, to get the clockwork mechanism out, there's two little nails that come down from the top. They're currently bent out of place, but they're normally straight up and down, and they interfere with allowing the mechanism to be pried up. That's what keeps it in place. On the left one, we have a little screw at the bottom that goes through the mechanism into the retaining plate. And it's that one screw that needs to be removed to allow for the removal of the mechanism. So let's go ahead and look at the one that we're going to be working on. Okay. So, first thing that we'll do is we'll remove that screw. screw has been released and now we use our forceps to fish it out and we are ready to pry the mechanism up gently from the bottom. I use a little screwdriver for a lever. We have the little engagement between the pivoting head and the top of the clockwork mechanism, and we have the arm of the slide whistle that we need to worry about before we remove the mechanism. That arm is currently extending out into a cavity on the body, and if we try to remove it in this configuration, we could easily bend and break that arm, which would definitely be a big problem. So to prevent that from happening, what we need to do on this particular unit is we'll go ahead and start it up before we remove the mechanism. I'm going to start it now. And then what I'll do is when the slide whistle arm gets into a position where it will be out of the way, I'll stop the mechanism by putting my finger on the fan fly. That stops the clockwork mechanism while the arm for the slide whistle is retracted inward. Now I pry up on the bottom of the whole mechanism, gently sliding it up, and it will release from the retaining plate. Now I take my other hand and I just gently hold onto the mechanism and pull it out while making sure that the linkage from the pivoting head and that the arm it's not damaged on the slide whistle. So here we have the mechanism out, it's working, and we're ready to move on.